Okay, so this is what it looks like um, when it's been rough cut and you can start to see the tape on the legs. You can still see the pencil lines on both sides. It's not perfectly straight, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it into the jig again. I'm going to use my block plane and I'm going to plane this up to uh, the lines there. Okay, so I've placed it in, and what I'm doing is I've got my block plane, and what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this inside line, and I'm going to use the plane to get a nice, smooth, tapered leg. Okay, that's the one side done. I'm going to turn it over. So, get my block plane. You'll notice when I'm using my block plane, when I'm not using it, I always place the plane on the side of the, the table. And the reason for that is, if I place it down like this, I'm going to keep banging um, the, the blade here and it's going to go dull. So, to keep everything nice and sharp, I always put the plane down on the side. I'm going to get my block plane. long continuous strip so that I know it's flat okay that's good okay and there you can see is my uh, finished tapered leg you can see it's got a line down the center which we're going to need later you can see I've got nice smooth sides what I do need to do is I need to sort out the end of this uh, foot here and I need to make this nice and square here. To do this I'm going to use the, the belt sander. 